Only on Fox 5 tonight, a DC mother says she is both heartbroken and furious, telling Fox 5 her 15-year-old son was allegedly attacked by members of Dunbar High School's football team. Yeah, so maddening. The school system says those players involved will not be taking the field at tonight's 6 p.m. game. Let's get right to Stephanie Ramirez, live outside of Dunbar with the very latest. Steph? Ladies, we also learned about an hour ago that a senior dance planned for tomorrow has now been postponed. As a result, the school leadership for D.C. Public Schools saying that they are taking this matter very seriously. Now, we know there is video going around of this showing a violent assault. We are not sharing this at this time, but we can tell you that happened right outside of the front of the school here yesterday at around dismissal time. There was security. I'm told also school officials around, but that still did not stop the violence from breaking out. I was told the dean got hurt trying to break this up. Now, here's mom over the phone telling Fox 5 she feels the athletic lead for the school should resign. He called me yesterday and stated that the football team is a brotherhood and they don't know my son. Like, he's justifying that for me to get that only call that the school never, ever called me or anything. That's the only call I received with my son feeling as though he was going to die. And this is what he told me is unacceptable. And that's the behavior. The culture needs to change. It's a good school, but the culture needs to change. And mom shared a photo of her son's injuries. Her son on the phone with her as they explained over the phone that he was first approached and said he did not want to fight. The teen then says he sees over a dozen students behind him who begin hitting him in the head. He says at one point he's pushed to the ground, crouching as he's being punched and kicked. A police report says at one point the 15-year-old lost consciousness. A school's spokesperson says DCPS has identified at least 11 students involved total. Eight are said to be football players and six of the eight are varsity football players. Now, we're told that with over 50 students on the varsity team, that most of the players involved were not there. They were where they were supposed to be. But we are told, again, that those involved in this fight will not be allowed to play tonight. Mom says that's not enough. We need safety for our children, and the school is not, um, the staff is not Making sure the kids are safe is no reason for the whole football team, the kids to be disrespecting the staff while the staff was there and continue to jump and beat my son. I don't want this to ha ever happen to another any anyone's child. And the family involved is telling us that there is a second child that was also injured here. The school system is not saying anything about why they believe this happened. Uh, the mother tells us that she believes it has to do with alleged harassment of her 15-year-old son's sibling prior to this week. Uh, the mom did meet with the principal today. We also reached out to the attorney general's office to see if any charges could be filed here. But they will not answer, cannot answer, citing juvenile privacy laws. Guys.